Hi everyone, I'm Mary Magellan and this video is to showcase the modern collaboration tools in Microsoft Teams that allow us to co-edit, share screens, and host meetings with our colleagues. So as you can see, I'm in the Teams view and I'm currently in the general channel of Huck and Magellan Consulting. And what I wanna do is I wanna share a document with Hytham or anybody else as a member of this team. I want them to make edits to it. And then I want us to jump into a meeting and discuss our, our edits. So the first thing I'll do is click the attachment icon while I'm in the posts window. And I'm going to share this PowerPoint deck with him. And you'll notice I'm uploading a copy. So he's not going to have access to my original file in OneDrive. This is inserting a brand new copy. And I'm actually going to at mention him here and hit tab. And what this is going to do is I'm going to ping him and let him know that, hey, I want you to edit this with me. And I've sent that off. So now he's going to get a ping on his side. And I want to go into this document and begin editing. So instead of us chatting back and forth, which sometimes is great, but sometimes can cause some confusion, let's just jump into a quick meeting together. So I'm going to start an impromptu meeting by clicking on the video camera down at the bottom of the chat window. I'm going to give this a subject and I'm going to hit meet now. Hi, Mary. Hi, hi, then. Thank you for joining the call. I have a question that I can't stop thinking about it all night. How do you blur your background? Click on the three dots in the toolbar of your meeting. Right after we recorded this video, a brand new feature called Show Background Effects was rolled out in Microsoft Teams. This allows you to choose your background so you don't have to have people looking at your messy house. And under Show Background Effects, you also have an option to blur your background. All right, should we edit this document together now? Let's go ahead and get to business. So I'm going to click on my toolbar and click on the share screen icon. Now I've got to have that PowerPoint deck open and I've got it right here. So I'm going to select the deck. Yes, this design looks amazing, simple and nice. I didn't know that I can run a PowerPoint presentation inside of Microsoft Teams. That's slick. Hey Mary, this slide looks amazing. I have some edits. Can you email it to me? There are a number of problems with emailing documents to each other, including that multiple copies get passed around and it gets really confusing. So instead of emailing a document, I'm going to share a link with Hytham directly in Teams so that we can co-edit this document together. Click back on the Teams view while we're in the meeting. We're still in the meeting. It doesn't shut us out. You're in the upper left hand corner of my screen and I'm going to go over to Files. Oh, I see it. So go ahead and make some edits. Oh, look, Hytham's in the document with me. Hey, I can see you, you're in here in the upper right hand corner. And I see you editing the document before my eyes. We also have a chat window and you can turn on the chat window by clicking on the conversation icon in the upper right hand corner of your document that you're working on. Okay, we're done editing the document now. I'm just gonna hit close. And then I can return to my meeting with Hytham by clicking on him in the upper left hand corner. If you guys have any questions, let us know. You can leave them in the comments below, and I'll have the expert, Mary, to answer your questions. Thanks for joining. See you next time. Uh, one of the most frustrating one is uh, me redecorating the whole bedroom. <laughs>